Hello, this is N2EWS, and these are some of the Chinese handheld transceivers I will be reviewing. Today I'm looking at the TID radio, or TID radio TDH3. This radio has gotten so much right, other Chinese handheld manufacturers really need to pay attention and uh, copy what, what TID radio has done so much right with starting with the display. Let's take a look at the display. Most radios will make you choose between the uh, name of the channel, the channel number, or the frequency. You can set up the, the TDH3 so that you see the name, the frequency, and the channel number all in one display. And I find that to be far more useful than, than any of the competing products. Another thing that they got so much right was the, uh, the fact that they use USB-C for almost everything. There's a USB-C port on the side, and you can use that to program the TDH3. Whereas most uh, other radios, as far as I know, all other Chinese handheld radios make you use the K connector there. There's also the USB-C charging port underneath and the docking station, the little dock for the TDH3 has a USB-C port on the back. So you can use the same cable no matter how you want to charge your radio. Now let's take a look at the power output. On two meters looks like 5 watts and change. And now let's take a look at 70 centimeters. And once again, 5 watts and change. I'm not that picky about uh, how much power a handheld puts out, but it's nice to see when a handheld puts out the rated power. Now let's take a look at the signal. The uh, interesting thing is, I have a link in the description for the FCC ID, and they did extensive testing of this radio, but all the testing was for the Bluetooth, not for the radio signal itself. Let's take a look at two meters first. By the way, I have these settings preset on the Tiny S8 Ultra. If you want me to show you how I did that, uh, I'll be glad to make another video with that. As you can see, as it's settling out, the harmonics are disappearing below that minus 16.02 line, which is good. Nice clean signal. Now let's take a look at the uh, preset for 70 centimeters. Those harmonics look stronger, but uh, give it a second for the uh, Tiny SA Ultra to catch up. And once again, they disappear, giving it a nice clean signal. I'd say this is a pass. I really like budget Chinese handheld ham or GMRS radios. And uh, you can probably see why I like this one so much. It has a couple of features I never thought I would use, one of them being air copy. I bought another one, and rather than read all of the programming and settings from one using chirp and then programming the second one with it i used the air copy uh, which uh, i never thought i would use and it was actually much more convenient to do that uh, i'll put a description or i'll put a uh, link to directions on how to do an air copy in the description 
There's also a 10% co coupon code in the description if you buy it from tidradio.com. I recommend if you buy it, if they have a package where you can get this uh, TID Radio TD771 antenna, I believe it's just a rebranded Nagoya, and uh, if they have a package with this dock, uh, I really think that's a very handy thing to have. Full disclosure, while I have nothing against vendor sending units for review, I paid for these radios with my own money. 73 and subscribe.